we've had uh, different people from different um, food businesses such as uh, manufacturers as well as uh, service providers and distributors that are attending the training and we are happy that you know engaging with these people they actually showed us that they do have a basic knowledge of food safety and that they are willing to take in as much information relating to compliance, food safety compliance, uh, which is part of the training. And for the other sessions that we're going to have in the future, which is for Vintuk on the 3rd and Ongwediva on the 10th, we are looking forward to meeting the people and meeting the, the various women in the different businesses, including the agribusinesses, and we hope that we can impart our knowledge to them uh, in terms of food safety, and we hope that uh, with this knowledge they can use to elevate their businesses. And I was fortunate enough to see the bill from um, the municipality's environmental health department. They shared it with us when we invited them to be speakers at the Warfish Bay event. So I've uh, scrolled through the bill, and it looks like it was something that was revised by the regulatory authorities, so it's something, uh, the Ministry of Health is the custodian of this bill. So all the stakeholders that were involved, they went through and they're busy passing this bill on to the public for uh, consultation or for just confirmation on what is written in there. Uh, but so far, uh, we see the bill just covers mostly about who is responsible for regulating what, but it doesn't go into the specifics yet. So we're a bit behind still when it comes to that. And we're hoping that this bill will, out of this bill will come regulations as well as uh, directives on how to control certain foods, uh, how to control various establishments. That is what we are looking for. And that is, as food safety experts, that is what we are advocating for for there to be food safety law and regulations. Everybody that owns a food business should know about food safety. They should speak for food safety. They should not wait for a regulator to be the one that says, make sure that your establishment is clean enough to process food or to sell food to people. They should take that initiative upon themselves.